How we view data in SolidWorks PDM is important for getting our work done. We need the right users to see the right data at the right time. Using columns lets us see the categories of information we want both when and where we want to see it. Let's get started with creating a column set in PDM Pro. I'll start in the administration tool and expand out my columns. Here we can see every set we currently have. I'll right click and create a new column set. First thing we'll do is give it a name. My set right here is going to be used by managers. Now obviously I can name it whatever I want, but I'll call it managers to keep things simple. To the right, we can choose the type of results this column set will be used for. We can have column sets designed for searching and designed for file lists. The process is the same for both, so we're going to only focus on a file list set in this video. Now we're going to select the users and groups that will have access to these columns. I'm only going to choose admin for the individuals, and then I'll choose the administrators and managers group. Remember from our permissions and users videos that it's typically easier to manage groups than it is individuals, so the same rule applies here. Now we're going to start building the columns. After we add our first column, check out this preview box near the top. That box is going to give us an idea as to what this will look like as it's being built. I don't want the last saved with variable, so I'm going to change it to be the manager variable instead. Now we can track which manager is assigned to the file. We're going to add the description variable next. Now the content of this variable may be a bit long, but we can actually help that in our column set. If we change the default width option, notice what this does in our preview. Now the description box is two and a half times larger than the manager's box. So this will make it so we need less time resizing to make all the text fit. I'll add our last two variables now. These will be the client submission time and the department assigned to the file. But let's imagine for a second that I made a mistake and the department and the submission time are actually out of order. Well, we can reorder these columns in the file explorer, or we can use these little arrows and change the default order to match our needs. Okay, so let's see what this is going to look like in practice. I'll launch my file explorer and browse into a folder. I already had description in my default columns, so I can see that right off the bat. And if I scroll to the end, I can see the additional columns that I've just added. The values are blank for now, but I can begin tracking them now to have the sorting of the data be easier.